When Ivan Belleville looks at photos of his granddaughters. Two years old now, she's three. Uh, six years old, she's seven. He can't help but notice that time is flying by, especially since the Canaan Vermont man hasn't seen them in more than a year because the girls and many of his other relatives live in Canada. It's tough to hug a computer. I don't, I don't like Zoom meeting. I, I don't care much for that. Zoom has been the only way he's been able to see many of these faces during the pandemic, but soon fully vaccinated Americans like Belleville will be able to have those much anticipated family reunions since they'll be able to cross the border starting on Monday. But in order to cross, Americans need to get a negative PCR COVID-19 test within 72 hours of travel. We have seen an increase in testing. The Vermont Department of Health says appointments have been booking up at state-run sites where free clinics are being held across Vermont. Test results usually take a few days to come in. If someone is um, needing results for travel or to attend a camp or something like that, we ask them to plan for that for three days just in case. In addition to a negative test, people need to download the Arrive Can app. The app will ask people to upload their vaccine cards and answer some basic questions about their travel. Once all of that information is approved in the app, people will get a receipt to present at customs. And when Americans come back to the U.S. That they be tested three to five days after they return and also just self-monitor for any symptoms. For the Bellevilles, the list of boxes to check off to see their family is a bit daunting. People think, oh, Monday the border opened. Yes, it opened with restriction. But they hope to make the trip to see each other soon.